Next uh, presenter is from Lithuania, Donatas Burneka. He's a senior researcher at the Vilnius University, head of uh, the Institute of Human Geo Geography and Demography. His main research topics include, among the others, migration, spatial segregation in rural areas and regional inequalities of economic uh, well-being. And he will talk about migration trends in Lithuania. Please, uh, Donatas, uh, screen is yours. Well, hello everybody. I'm happy to be here. Uh, Spiti, of course, of course, that virtually, not really, but anyway, <laughs> it's better like that. Uh, uh, and uh, well, um, I'm also I have to make some small correction. Can you see? You can see my my slides probably now. I'm also I'm, I'm also not only a professor of Vilnius University, but I'm a, a senior researcher at, at the Research Institute, which is Lithuanian Social Research Center. Uh, anyway, I will try to talk a little bit about uh, migration in Lithuania, main trends, and and then and, and, uh, maybe some some other aspects related to some causes of these trends. And uh, I I would I would like to uh, maybe maybe uh, I can like, well I, I say that I, I imagine that not everybody knows what's happening in Lithuania, which is most uh, southern country. Of in the Nordic Nordic area, and uh, anyway, I can see a lot of similarities with Latvia, so so or or Estonia, but but things are slightly different here. So uh, maybe a few words about uh, about this. Uh, uh, and uh, I would like to start my presentation from the broader topic, uh, uh, which was raised a uh, hundred years ago. He first uh, mentioned by Swedish geography geographer Stan de Geer uh, in, in 1928. He he's, uh, he wrote an article uh, in Geographiska Analer about Scandinavia, Balto Scandia region, a uh, more integrated uh, region of, of small countries around Baltic. And our geographer Kazis Pakstas uh, liked the idea back then and. Uh, uh, try to develop and promote it, but uh, anyway, um, I also will, would agree to. to uh, I, I'm also like a fan of this idea of of having uh, 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 integrated area uh, of of Baltoscandic or northern Nordic countries, uh, small small countries which which can cooperate uh, on on a more or less level basis, uh, and the integration. Uh, uh, of course, it's 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 from from uh, from from various point of view. We can all see that that uh, in te economical integration in 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 uh, between Baltic countries and and uh, Nordic countries uh, are, is taking place very fast, and uh, and uh, of course it's very visible, and also we can see integration in in other areas like research areas. Common research programs, political areas, Nordic Nordic uh, Council of Ministers is a good example of such a cooperation. And I think that migration uh, migration flows or mobility, international mobility, uh, also can have the here yeah, some some uh, important important role. And uh, the basic question we are uh, hearing here, actually in Lithuania, discussing here. Is 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 like 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 that? If this mobility or is or migration relations between Baltics or namely Lithuania and and other countries will re they result in more coherent and more more integrated area? Or maybe uh, we can also think of uh, less prosperous scenarios. Uh, maybe we will will become or we will also can can become a some kind of an, a periphery area of 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 scandinavia or, or nordic countries serving like uh like like peripheral uh supply supply chain for 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 brains for, or, or 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 muscles so so it's uh it's it's like like a, like a well Broader for for a for a future discussion we we can discuss this and I will go st uh, straight to to um, to the next slides which are more or less uh, 
we voted for a, for a migration trend in Lithuania, and uh, we are hearing here a lot of of uh, of, of uh, studies, uh, seeing a lot of studies which uh, try to explain why the uh, why the emigration from Lithuania was the highest among all European countries in in uh, during the last two decades or two three decades actually. And uh, I would like to stress uh, structural uh, force, structural factors, not personal factors. And uh, from my point of view, uh, the immigration was inevitable as Lithuania has lost has lost uh, one third of its jobs, and those jobs were lost actually around all the country, which was evenly developed with, with uh, no no clear center actually. And you can see the slides. This blue color indicates municipalities which has lost uh, lost more than half or around a half of, of all jobs in in uh, 15 years. So emigration was inevitable. The only question is where to emigrate actually to other cities in Lithuania or or or, or abroad. And uh, I would say that emigration was inevitable. Di directions weren't uh, so. Unfortunately, we had a country. We have a country which, which has quite uh, quite weak uh, connections, social connections inside it, with especially with the center cent central areas, and, and many people could could choose could choose uh, um, foreign destinations quite easily, uh, having weak weak relations with the, with the central place of Lithuania, and of course, we all, I, I have no no time for that, but. Uh, uh, our uh, demographic structure, uh, geo demographic structure, also was was not so so good uh, in, in uh, from the sense that the most uh, the highest uh, uh, natural increase, the b highest birth rates, and and the biggest share of young population were also common for distant peripheral areas in in, in western western Lithuania. So uh, finally, finally, uh, you can see. The, the simple graph which indicates the number of employees in Lithuania, which was stable during the last 20 years. We have 1.4 1, 1. million of employees in Lithuania, and the, the blue line indicates total emigrants, uh, which is uh, uh, which seeks around half a million during officially uh, during the uh, 21st century, uh, or, or more or less. So, in, in fact, uh, Statistically speaking, we had emigrate one, one half a million of Lithuanians emig emigrated, and uh, but the employment stays the similar. So in fact, if we didn't have emigration, if that means we have to employ one third of all existing jobs, new we have to create new new one third of all existing jobs. So I don't think it was was possible. So uh, uh, bigger or smaller. Uh, share could have it was it was inevitable and the next slide presents the our our migration trends as you can see we have some big peaks which uh, uh, actually uh, this this uh, uh, yellow yellow line indicates immigration and uh, blue line I, I suppose uh, yeah blue line blue line indicates uh, the air passengers and uh, we don't think that it's uh, the relation is very strict between air passengers and and uh, emigrants but but this relation should be anyway so uh, i just may want to say that peaks un do not correspond and sometimes uh, emigration uh, increases at the, at the times when air, as air passenger flows are positive and but anyway so uh, statistics is, is is not correct actually uh, big time gaps and, and our uh, migration statistics de depends very much on, on leg legislation, taxation levels, and all the different things. But anyway, we have positive uh, migration during had positive migration during last year, which was quite easily predictable actually. And also this year, I don't have of course final data, but this year immigration flows are even higher. And I must say that uh, this immigration peak is. Uh, more or less uh, result of uh, immigration from third countries, mostly Ukrainian and uh, and Belarus probably, but also because of return migration. But it's also, as I said, it was easily predictable as 
uh, the share of population who can emigrate is the easiest. I mean, young population was dropping during last years, and the share of those who can return uh, was 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 uh, growing, of course. So, uh, next slide uh, indicates uh, the impact of immigration on Lithuanian uh, population, and as you can see, uh, the left-hand side uh, slide indicates foreign emigration, foreign emigration, which was was uh, the main cause of of, of uh, uh, population decline in the western part of Lithuania and eastern central part. Uh, was not suffering so much from emigration, but of course, because of mostly because of Vilnius, who is, was an alternative destination for for foreign immigration and in inner immigration uh, also. In immigration also, uh, of course, uh, redistributed population a lot, uh, mostly concentrating them in, into the metropolitan areas and this black black uh, western part of Lithuania also indicates this this uh, most most uh, negative negative uh, trends of of of, of uh, population change and the result of all those migration most 80% uh, of the changes you can see the in 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 19 in 18 years actually half of the country lost around half of their of their population so it's I think one of the biggest uh, uh, losses in in, in Europe. Uh, maybe in Latvia also have some similar areas. Um, maybe, maybe small areas also in, in Estonia also suffer from that. But uh, the, re the redistribution of population is is big, and also it involves some social uh, structural changes. Uh, I mean that it's not only the reduction of population, but also the the big changes in structure of the population. So people regions are not only losing population, but also losing younger and more active population. Uh, this is also, of course, a problem. Now we just some some words about uh, direction of of of, Lithuania, of of our foreign migrations, and you can see very very clearly that um, at least uh, 11, 10 years or well, let's nine years ago. Uh, United Kingdom was uh, dominant, and uh, northern northern countries were much much less important as as migration trends. Uh, this is, of course, the reason probably of different labor immigration policies among uh, European countries, and maybe uh, also this could be related to the foreign languages we we learn at school. So probably, but but uh, but uh, dominant destinations were far away in 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 Western countries. Uh, but uh, sorry for incorrect order of this graph, uh, but you can see that uh, Nordic countries, the share of Nordic countries is steadily increasing in our, in our immigration flows. Um, maybe because of the geographical proximity, maybe because of wage difference, probably wage difference is, is more, more important. Probably I'm not sure the studies should be made, but uh, uh, also we can, could, I just put a small uh, 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 graph illustrating uh, wage differences. As you can see, Baltic countries are at, at, the, at the bottom of this uh, slide and uh, the wage differences persist. And, and uh, I don't think that in the nearest free future, the wage difference will play a decisive role in, in reducing or increasing migration flows between between Nordic countries and, and, and Baltic states. But But anyway, of course, the, the difference is, is, is disappearing, but it's diminishing, but but not disappearing in the nearest future. And uh, the sorry, um, I try to because uh, we don't have a normal statistic here about about Lithuanians abroad. Uh, according to our statistics, we have some uh, six seven hundred thousand of Lithuanians abroad, but if you you calculate uh, uh, Nordic statistics; it's uh, it's slightly different story. You can see very very clearly that Norway starts to play the decisive role or the most important role in our uh, uh, foreign migrations, uh, especially post last crisis area, post last crisis period. And uh, according to our to Nordic statistical offices, uh, I. I 
uh, calculated uh, uh, those numbers, 75,000 of Lithuanians are in those country, uh, countries. According to our statistics, uh, there should be a, a, around 120,000 uh, Lithuanians in those countries. Uh, I do believe uh, Nordic statistics uh, better than, uh, more than, than our own, actually. Uh, and uh, uh, we have tried to analyze structure of, 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 of migrations to Nordic countries, but data are very, very poor, actually. Uh, we can only use uh, the census data uh, of 11 year, of 10 years old almost, but uh, actually we had have we weren't able to to detect any differences of of age sex martial status education or or anything comparing to migrants elsewhere so uh, theoretically the migration is the same to to estonia uh, to to northern countries like to other countries of of eu uh and you can see the the, the summary of my, my presentation, I, I, I uh, just, uh, well, I won't read it, because my time is up, and thank you very much for your attention. Of course, um, uh, we, uh, migrations have many, 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 many different, uh, different uh, aspects, and one of them are also, some of them are also negative. I just tried to Google what is about, what written is in, about Lithuanians in Norway, the, most most typical actually actually uh, heading of the media was there so thank you very much thank you uh, professor burneka and uh, we have one question from uh, audience um, according to the 2015 gallup world poll millions of citizens from estonia latvia and lithuania aspire to migrate 23% of residents in Lithuania, 21 in Estonia, 17 in Latvia. Do you expect uh, a new immigration wave from the Baltic region? I'm not actually, unless some uh, some big big uh, catastrophes, economical or or something like that. But because uh, these ex uh, these expectations or these uh, aspirations to leave are dropping uh, during the last years and 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 uh, and. Um, uh, numbers of uh, immigrants and return immigrants in Lithuania are growing and uh, uh, most of those aspiring to leave also indicate they are don't they are want to leave for a for a temporary uh, time like 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 uh, for job or for for studies or for like that so so I don't think we have a big potential for immigration at the moment uh, thank you. Uh, next question. Any ideas how Brexit has already or will impact return migration in Lithuania? Actually, it did. It, it did impact some, some uh, to some extent. Nobody knows ex actually how much because our statistics is it's not so so evident. But I I've even saw the British statistics, which indicated that that many many I don't remember exactly how much, but millions uh, returned to Central Europe, I mean Central and Eastern Europe from Britain. But we, what we see that uh, the return migration from uh, UK and Ireland is, is increasing, but mostly from UK. But uh, as maybe you remember my picture of, of uh, connection, flight connection and ferry connection between Lithuania and other countries. So uh, actually flows, outflows to Baltic uh, countries the Baltic Sea countries, Baltic uh, neighbors, our Baltic neighbors, I mean, uh, Baltic Sea neighbors, was increasing, but uh, um, uh, passenger flows from from UK were uh, highly negative. I'm uh, positive. I mean, much more people fly back to Lithuania than out of Lithuania to more distant countries. While uh, while in, 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 in the ferry areas or like Baltic Sea area where ferries are important, uh, the outflow of, of, of population is still still visible. Thank you. Uh, and one more question. What would be the trends for a future uh, for Lithuania, taking into account uh, what happened around uh, Lithuania, uh, not only Brexit, but uh, uh, what is happening at the moment in Belarus? I will enlarge this question a bit and asking uh, 
this positive uh, balance of migration, what you show in your picture, is it temporary or we can see already certain turnover of migration patterns? Yeah, uh, it's, I think everything is temporary in this world, of course, but, um, but uh, I think having in mind Lithuanian position in the world and in the Europe, we, uh, we tend to be, we have a very good, very, very, very big actually uh, possibility that we will uh, suffer from uh, out-migration in the some, some future time. I mean that uh, um, anyway, our climate is not the best. We are not the center of the world or center of the Europe, and we are also always will have to to have a will have a challenge of 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 emigration. But for the uh, uh, closest future, a few years uh, from now, decade from now, I don't think that the emigration will be a huge issue or problem from uh, uh, for for Lithuania. And I think that even Zyga is was slightly too pessimistic. I think that Latvia will will have a positive positive migration flows in, in, in the nearest future as well, in a year or two. Thank you. Thank you very much.